Hi everyone and welcome to South Devon College Animal Unit. My name's Laura and I'm one of the practical instructors here and I teach all of the practical elements of animal care. I was also a student here in 2015 and I've worked my way up to become a teacher. I absolutely love it here and I think you will too. So why not have a look around and explore our collection. So first of all, let me introduce you to our lovely pig, Jack. He's a miniature pig and he's one of the stars of the show here on the animal unit. He's one of three species of farm animal that we have here. And he's very friendly. And as a student, you will probably learn how to feed him, clean him. You might learn about his behaviors and you could even learn to walk him from A to B uh, using correct handling techniques. So now we're next door to Jack's enclosure and we're with our African pygmy goat. We've got one of our lovely goats up here. Her name is Ariel. And something you might do as a student here is learn how to trim her hooves and groom her fur. But that's enough in the goat enclosure. Let's go and check out what our chickens are up to. So this is one of our chickens. Her name is Dorothy and she's one of two breeds here at the animal unit. She's actually called a Loman Brown and she's a popular egg laying chicken. But we've also got a rare breed chicken here called Ayam Samanis. And our chickens are free range. So to, in order to get them in at night, we actually have trained them to run to a bell. So now we've met all of our farm animals, let's look around the unit and see what else we can find. So here we are in one of our biggest exhibits and this is our mixed exhibit. So here we have meerkats and an Indian crested porcupine and her name is Kaya. Now all of these guys live quite harmoniously together but as you can see sometimes they might have a little squabble but they're all amazing to learn how to clean, feed and they're amazing for enrichment and behavioural studies. So here we are in our tortoise enclosure. So here on the animal unit, we have two species of tortoises. Here we have our beautiful leopard tortoises, and this one's name is Bumpy. We also have two Herman's tortoises as well. So two different species. So something that's really important for tortoises is making sure that they have plenty of heat so that they can regulate their body temperature. So something a student might do is log their temperatures and make sure that they're getting all of their needs met to make sure that they're healthy. But now that we've met our tortoises, let's go and find some rabbits. So next up, we're in our rabbit enclosure where we currently house five different rabbits. We have four females and one male. And we spend a lot of time handling our rabbits here during our handling lessons. So you might learn how to pick a rabbit up, how to give it a health check and how to trim its claws. Let's go and look at the next enclosure. So another one of our more zoo type exhibits is our skunk enclosure. And this is Trump, the champagne coloured skunk. So you've probably noticed that he looks a little bit different to most skunks. He's not that black and white colour you usually see. But he's a lovely champagne colour, as they like to say. He's really great for feeding and cleaning. We also train him and he loves a meal of bugs from time to time. So here we are at our ferret enclosure and here we have two male ferrets called Bovril and Marmite. They're both very lovely boys but they can be a little bit cheeky sometimes and they really love to cache or hide their food. So when you're cleaning their enclosure it's really important that you check in their beds and under their furniture. So now we are in our kitchen area. So down on the animal unit when you're looking after animals you need to learn how to feed them and prepare their diets. So you'd spend a lot of time in here following our diet sheets and preparing food to give to all of our different species. But now we've had a little look in the kitchen, let's go and check out all of our rodents. Here in our rodent room, we have a variety of species, many that you'll learn how to feed, clean and handle. We have some of your more domestic species, such as rats and guinea pigs, but we also have some quite unique species, such as African soft fur rats, dagoes and an African pygmy hedgehog. So we've had a look at the animal unit outside, but we've actually got a collection of reptiles, amphibians and invertebrates and even some fish up in our reptile section. So let's go and see what we've got up there. So here we are now at our reptile, amphibian and aquatics department and it's where we keep all of our lizards and snakes and fish, for example. 
Here we have one of our bearded dragons, Monty, and we've got lots more to look at. But first of all, I just want to introduce you to our kitchen. So just like down on the animal unit, you'd spend a lot of time in here preparing food for our variety of animals. But there are a little bit of differences here. So we actually feed live feed to a lot of our animals, such as locusts and crickets, mealworms and earthworms. So you'd have to learn how to catch them and feed them to our animals. But let's go and look at some of our species in detail. So here we are in our aquatics department where we have a variety of species such as tropical fish, axolotls and a fire-bellied toad. Now if you were in here as a student, you'd learn how to feed and clean these species and you'd also learn how to water change them. But let's go and have a look at our desert species. In our desert room, we have a variety of reptile species, including three species of snake, leopard geckos, and a bearded dragon. Now, depending on what level you're studying on, you could learn to handle a variety of these animals. So for example, level one, you'll learn how to handle bearded dragons, but you'd have to wait to be on level three to handle a snake. So here we are in our final room. This is our exotics or tropical room where we house a lot of our frog, gecko and invertebrate species. So we have crested geckos, giant African bullfrogs and even giant African land snails. This is a great room to learn how to feed and clean all of our animals and you'll even learn how to handle some of our species such as the land snails or our horned ornate frog. So now we've come to the end of our tour and I just want to say thank you for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you at the college on one of our courses soon.